Between World War I and World War II, Germany suffered from hyperinflation, which is when money loses its value very, very quickly. Carry on! We're coming back to who wants to be a German millionaire. Before the break, we asked Heinrich here, why is the German economy in so much trouble? He answered C, because Germany has to pay massive compensation costs to the Allied forces who fund the war. The answer is C. Congratulations, Heinrich. You've won 64 million German marks. Unfortunately, due to the state of the German economy, that's probably only enough to buy you a deal barrel. But I would need to buy a deal barrel just to carry that much cash. Well, we don't want to give you that. We want to give you this. 128 million German marks. That's enough cash to buy you a deal barrel. You just said that I could get a wheelbarrow for 64 million marks? Unfortunately, the German economy is in such a bad way that prices for everything are rising very, very quickly. In fact, I'm just hearing in my ears that from now on, one German mark will now be worth 1,000 German marks. So you're actually playing for 128 billion German marks. And what can I buy for that? The wheelbarrow. <coughs> Next question. By November the 1st, 1923, how much will a loaf of bread cost? D. 3 billion marks. 3 billion marks for a loaf of bread? Yeah. Too sure? Yeah. Final answer. Yeah, you told me the... Well, I can tell you the answer is... D. <laughs> 3 billion marks. You have won yourself 128 billion, no trillion, marks. I miscounted the knots. How will you spend your billions? I'm buying a wheelbarrow. You can't afford one. I hate this show. You should have gone on deal on 90. Imagine that. The money in your pocket becoming worthless overnight. An angry German public started to support Adolf Hitler's Nazi party. And the rest, as they say, is history. When the American GIs joined World War II, they certainly like to flash their cash around. This month in Gals Magazine, we're going Yankee crazy. Yes, the Americans have joined the war. That's right, boy. Now their gorgeous GIs are here, and they're here to stay. Well, for a bit, anyway, until they get sent to the front line. In this week's issue, we compare an average British squaddy with the average American GI. Howdy. Check out that slick back hair, that deep tan, and those great teeth. GIs have to brush their teeth every day. I don't brush every day. There's nothing wrong with my teeth. And there's more. We look at all the latest trends they're bringing from across the Atlantic. Wow. You really can dance. What's that funny thing you're doing with your mouth? I'm chewing gum. Chewing gum? Wow. He's so classy. Perhaps don't miss our handy guide to speaking American. No, I can dance good too. Okay. Okay, what was that supposed to mean? It's kind of like your English, right? Oh, no, I'll never catch on. Plus, every GI comes with free gifts. Nylons. Wow. No more stockings made out of gravy for me. Get off! Yes, you can no longer get nylons in the shops over here, but the Americans have got loads of them. You got lots of chocolate, too. Oh, you just get better. All that and more. Well, actually not more, but all that. Only in this month's Gals Magazine. And better still, Gals Magazine is absolutely free because a rich GI will buy one for you. Oh, he's so dreamy. 